What's up everybody? Feel back again another video on my channel. Went to a show in Urbana, Ohio today. It was a very good show. I would suggest if you live near it to go. It's in the 4-H building at the fairgrounds there in Champaign County and it is a big show. At least in my opinion that's a pretty big building and it was full. There's some vintage stuff. There's newer stuff. So it's a really good time. This was my bell of the ball purchase at this show. It was an International Harvester 1066, 5 millionth tractor version. This is the box, pretty sharp, as you can see, picture there on the back. Nice picture, the replica that was in this box as well. Got your plastic clamshell in there to protect the tractor. Came with a coin insert, that's where the coin is. You can see on the box IHC Iowa, IH International Harvester Collectors Iowa. Tractor was produced in 2008. It's pretty sharp. Been wanting this for a minute. Let's move on to the star of the show, the IH 1066. All right, everybody, I'm back, and here it is the 116 scale Ertl IH 1066 5 millionth tractor. Of course, the real tractor was produced by International Harvester between 1971 through 1976. I believe it was about 125 PTO horsepower right around there. It's a very popular tractor in that 66 series. I think it was the most produced tractor of the series. Like over 50,000 were made, I believe, during its run. If I'm not mistaken, so if I'm wrong about that, somebody correct me, but uh, it's a uh, Pretty, pretty awesome tractor, and this one's so special because it was the 5 millionth tractor that IH produced. Of course, there was another one of these made in the 90s. That was the uh, part of the 66 series collectors they put out in the mid 90s, early to mid 90s. And I do have one of those that I've customized pretty sharply. Looks pretty neat. But this one here will stay as this is because it's such a special deal. And this one's pretty nicely set up um, as well. Car it came with, let me find it here, Certificate of Authenticity. It's in the box with it. And also this here collector coin, IH 1066 5 millionth tractor and on the back. IHC Iowa International Harvester Collectors Iowa number five. So I'm guessing there was four other tractors at least that's been for IHC Iowa. If anybody knows what those are, uh, let me know. I'm not honestly. I'm not sure what they are. The, um, the other four. It's a pretty nice replica here. Start on the rear end there. Of course, you got a nice three-point hitch and a realistic looking draw bar there. Actually, PTO. The three-point hitch here does move up and down. Got a nice light here on the rear there. Your cab, standard 66 series. Nice IH emblem on the back. Inserted flashers up here on the cab. Pretty nice. Really classic looking IH cab. Nice handles on the front. Steps on either side of that cab for entry to the uh, cab. Inside the cab might be hard to see. It's usually harder to see, but there's some lever and uh, handle details around the steering columns and all that. It's really not the best to see usually because of the cab and the glass really. There's even some levers down here on the right hand side of course. The seat, probably hydraulics I'm guessing. There's nice details in there. Of course you got your IH white on the cab. And on the uh, fender, or the uh, hood here, and the panel, up by the grill, nicely done. It says uh, international in black with the red striping, or the black stripe with the international in white over the engine. 1066, farm all here, and then five millionth tractor. Nice uh, lights on the front of the cab as well on both sides. Engine details, components and details there. A 
underneath the tractor. Take a quick look. The grill is nicely done, inserted, not decaled or nothing. Insert the lights, IH logo at the top, and your uh, bar grill here down low in front of the screening. It's pretty sharp. Tires and wheels there, rear wheels and front wheels are all tires are all rubber, of course. Nice looking, classic looking tire on the rear of this tractor. They look pretty good. Your wheel outer rim is silver, of course, and then your inner rim, the six spoke, classic international six spoke, IH red. Axle sticking out here on the end, just a tad there. Looks pretty cool. Not too bad. They look pretty nice. Your front tires are a uh, pretty cool looking four rib. Compared to the tires on the one from the 90s, that's a much, very, very nice improvement. Very nice. And I want to say, I think they're good years. I want to say they're good years. It says they're good year. Yep. Your wheel on the front is actually chrome. Looks like the red, IH red in the middle. It's a pretty sharp replica there, I must say. I am uh, glad I picked it up. It was my main purchase today at the show in Urbana, Ohio. It's pretty sharp. I'll do a real quick comparison here and let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. Here's my IH 1066 5 millionth alongside a 1256 with Wheatland fenders. I have in my collection. Thought they would look kind of cool side by side. Very similar tractors in a scale and a horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. They're pretty close in horsepower. If I'm wrong about that, somebody correct me again, but uh, it's fairly similar. All right, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, everybody, I'm back. Erdl 116 scale IH 1066 5 millionth tractor produced in 2008 for the IH Collectors Iowa event. Pretty awesome replica here, nicely done by Ertl. Last improvement from the one in the 90s, but that makes sense because as time goes on, they get better at detailing and stuff. <laughs> all right, everybody, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everyone that tunes in. This is Phil. You all have a blessed day, and we'll talk again soon.